In this AutoCAD tutorial, I would like to cover using Surface Blend and then Surface Extend. So what I have on my screen right now are just a couple of curved lines and they're drawn in the right view and we can see in the Northwest Isometric that they're still just two-dimensional lines. What I'm going to do is use a simple extrude to make them three-dimensional surfaces. So I'm going to come up to the Surface tab on the ribbon, select Extrude, grab those two lines, enter, and then I'm just going to make them surfaces. I'm not really concerned about how big they are. Once I've created those, you'll see that there is, in fact, a gap in between. This can happen for a lot of reasons, but it's pretty easy to fix. Once we have that gap, what we can do is come up to the Surface tab and select Blend. Now if I choose Blend, what I'm going to do is just pick the first edge, hit Enter, or the second edge here now. Alright, so once I have those, you can either just hit Enter or you could type in B for Bulge and that's going to change the curvature. Uh, but I think this looks good enough for now, so I'm just going to hit Enter to keep that. So you can do a lot of tweaking there, but that's really the basic idea. And what CAD does is it figures out the smoothest bulge that it can put uh, in between there to keep that um, relatively fluid and consistent looking. So that's just a simple blend. Now if you have uh, surfaces that for one reason or another have come up short, you can simply come up to the Surface tab and choose Surface Extend. And when you do that, you can click on the edge, hit Enter, and you're able to extend the surface from its edge. It's really, really simple. Uh, but it's it's nice to know that you know once you've created something you can come in and tweak it. You can also come in on these side edges as well but it's going to be doing one at a time so you have to be careful about um, how you select that but these surfaces are very editable. 